Oh, me! Oh, there! He wants to. Oh! 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 I couldn't think of a better way to celebrate this monumentous occasion, this West Virginia Championship Wrestling 100th episode, than to have the outlaws in the main event. Who are you you're asking yourself, how can we be in the main event? Well, self, here's the answer. Because Joey Morton, Dave Scott, You've got tag team titles that we never lost. They were taken from us by Hoodwink, Hook, and Crook. So if you've got any, you come on out here on the 100th episode of WVCW and you put those tag team titles on the line against the Outlaws. Just because I know all these people paid to see me and Dave Scott. And just to prove that we are the best tag team in West by God, Virginia. We'll accept the challenge of the outlaws. We'll put our belts on the line. And when it's over, we will leave with these titles.
Ballpark, now available at WBCW events. Get your copy today. Hello everyone, this is the Cuban Assassin for another edition of Cuban's Corner. And this edition, we have a new uprising star in WVCW and probably one of the most promising superstars to see in our industry today, talking about none other than Johnny Heartbreak. Johnny Heartbreak, I like to sit here and say, I've watched your matches. I'm very impressed. I can give you all the accolades of someone should be able to look up to, to be an aspiration to be a champion. What I'd like to know is, what's your future plans here in WVCW? Well, it's just like you said, Cuban, I'm the future of this business. See, unlike other old has-beens that walk around out here, you know, who, you know, I'm, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, you know, whatever. It's not about what you've done. It's about what you've done lately. And I'm John Heartbreak. I've, I'm the longest reigning WVCW junior heavyweight champion on the planet, okay? So, you know, I mean, you... If you can, if you don't mind, you know, kind of, you know, boost my ego just a little bit more, please. Thank you. Sure, no problem with that. But what my question is, is not just to be the future, that you are the future. There's no doubt about it. you are the future of WVCW. It is about what's happening today. But you got to also pay tribute to the respect of the veterans who paved the way for people like yourself to be in the profession today. So what's the actual future endeavors? Do you have any championship plans, maybe say, the WVCW Television Championship. Is that in the future of Johnny Heartbreak? Well, first of all, I'm, I'm going to stop you, and I'm, I'm going to answer your question later. You know, have you ever drove on a back road Sure. You know that has been paved before? Yeah. What happens to it? It, it gets th these holes in it, these eyesores, and eventually it has to be paved back over. And that's what Johnny's here for, okay? I'm here to pave back over the crap that these so-called veterans have laid out, okay? And as far as the future of John Heartbreak, I mean, it's it's pretty much in my genes. You know, not well, let's keep what's in your genes in your genes. That's another matter entirely to itself. What I'm talking about is traditional values and respect to the industry that's making you a bright future star. You've got to say the WCW heavyweight champion, Scotty Blaze, impressive person, even though I beat him several times for the APW heavyweight championship title and other ones. But... Say, uh, for example, myself. I've been around this business for quite a long time, over 23 years actively in, perf in performance. The first ever boxer versus wrestler match in West Virginia history. And probably the most recognizable royalty name in wrestling, the Cuban Assassins, my father and my uncle. But how would you like to look in, in comparison to yourself, to people, say, as Gene and Jam Madrid of the past? Royalty. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I must have heard wrong. You you mentioned yourself as royalty. Yes. Who do you think you are, Cuban? This is this is WVCW in the 21st century. Okay. Do do I respect the people who built New York? Of course I do. But look at Times Square right now. Yep. Okay. It's popping. There's a bunch of junk all over the place. There's colors. There's lights. There's all this stuff. What do we have in WVCW? Do we have colors? Do we have lights? No. We got a bunch of old men running around like you. You know, who, you know, oh, I'm 21 years. Was it 21? 23. 23 years. You know, I mean. You, you got to forgive him. He's not that old. 23 years ago, okay, wasn't, wasn't like, you, you know, what, what kind of movies were coming out 23 years ago? How were the special effects uh, in those Jerry movies? Maguire. Jerry Mag what, what What is Jerry Maguire? I'm sorry. You know, uh, The Avengers? You know, have you seen The Yeah, they were missing Tom Cruise. You know, Jerry Maguire versus the Avengers. Okay, you you just you tell me which one's a better film. Just saying. As you can see, definitely not an Oscar contender, but definitely a future champion in WVCW. May not have the right attitude, but I think he's got the right idea. Maybe. We'll see you next time on Cuban's Corner.
tell you people something, all you unemployed hillbillies sitting at home on a Wednesday afternoon watching TV instead of out there working a job, most of you are dirty coal miners with crap underneath your fingers and looking like you ain't took a bath in about a month. The universal heart drops are better than you people will ever dream of being in your lifetime. We deserve better competition. We deserve better doggone pay, for goodness sake. Roger here's been making it on Spam alone and Truck Stop Sushi, for God's sake. He's wasting away. We want bigger and better and better competition. If we don't get it, we're going on strike. Roger. Yeah, Universal well, Heart Drop earlier in this program. Did I not? Yes, you did. They said that they want attention or they strike. Attention or strike. You know, where it says they, they, they're feeling unloved and a little overlooked. And, uh, I just wonder if the outlaws maybe should show them a little bit of attention. Here, the right? that put these together, because whoever, they sewed them completely wrong. Yeah, and they, uh, you know what? They actually look like they're inside out. Yeah, uh, it actually more or less looks oh. like a... Couple of big chops of his and own. A big oh, headbutt. Headbutt. Oh, Roger's going to need uh, two Advil and get called in the morning. And he's. Uh, well, I guess he just Back tagged in the wrist here. St. Clair gets whipped to the ropes. And Rip Manson gets knocked down. And clothesline. I'm going to do one better than anybody else can. I'm going to set up a match between my main man, Roger, and one of those old dirty, I mean, Dirty, filthy outlaws. Namely, the big one that looks like a Sasquatch, the mighty hobo. We don't need to do that. This is all you, buddy. Roger. Later. The hustler Rip Manson has Rip Manson going over here. Oh, it just hits a Hojo from behind. He needs to go and check to see if he's okay. Yeah. Well, it's mighty Hojo just grabs the ear of, of Roger Ham, picks him up. Oh, sheep bomb. Sheep bomb! Yeah, but he's going for the cover. There's no referee. Who's Where's the, the referee? referee? Kind of ticking off the mighty Hojo a little bit. Sure. Yeah, definitely you know, he, give him a wake-up call. I tell you what, fans, I'm going to go try to get the word with the hustler, Rip Manson, and the, the doctor of desire, Roger The Hand. dirty, dirty outlaws. I challenge you to a match next week. I don't care which one of it is. I'll whoop any of them. I'll whoop two of them. I'll whoop three of them. Lord, I'll whoop them all, baby. It's about doctor's time! Definitely going to, uh, whoa, <laughs> swing and a miss, and the good doctor is holding them. And oh! oh a big miscue with the Universal Heart Drops. Could this be it? Could be it. One, two, three. That's it. There you go, fans. The hustler, Rip Manson. Roger Ham cuts him this match. Maybe oh. they're even now, fans. I would have had that match won if it wasn't for Roger Ham. I'm telling you what. I'm seriously reconsidering this whole tag team thing. Listen, I'm part of this team too. My mama paid for all of our outfits. Are you kidding me? Your mama didn't pay for nothing, baby. I earned it from your mama if you catch my drift. There you hear from the Universal Heart Rocks feds. We'll be back right after this. Boy, you get out of that ring right now. I ain't going to take no lip off of you. I tell you what. Do you see this right here? You give me that belt, boy. You get yourself out here now. You get yourself out of the ring now. Are you going to get what your other daddy should have given you? You twisted pervert. Stay away from me. And stay away from my mama. And stay away from my mama's mama. I hate you. I... I disown you, you're no longer my son. You're, you're not my dad. I'm older than you. It don't matter, Jack. Love knows no age. And your mama sure does love me. Fans, go to the WVCW Facebook page and let us hear from you. What would you like to see in West Virginia Championship Wrestling? Leave us a comment on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash WBCW TV. Fans, joining me now is a group called the Nerdy 30. They have their own internet radio show. You can join us right here on the Two Virginias each and every Wednesday at noon. And then Wednesday night, you can listen to these guys.
That's right, guys. Every week we're going to be bringing you exclusive interviews with the WVCW superstars. And if you watch the show the next week, you're going to hear our thoughts on it. We try to come out to the shows. And also, you're going to hear thoughts on comic books, video games, movies, all things nerdy. Tony, anything you'd like to tell them about the show? No, we're just big fans ourselves, and we're proud to bring this footage to you each week. So be sure and join us. Download us on iTunes. There you go, folks. You can listen to the Nerdy 30 radio show every Wednesday at 10 on Blog Talk Radio, or you can go to our Facebook page, facebook.com backslash WVCWTV, and find the link to the Nerdy 30 radio podcast. Fans, let's get back to some more great action right now. And we're underway once again here in WVCW, West Virginia Championship Wrestling. The newcomer, uh, Johnny Heartbreak, certainly has his hands full tonight on the heels of a, of a big outing last week. Of course, he's facing off with J.C. Dykes Jr. Yeah, and what a way to kick off our 100th episode right here on the 2 Virginia CW Network with that big open challenge for the WVCW Tag Team titles. And now we got former junior heavyweight champion, Johnny Heartbreak taking on former WVCW heavyweight champion J.C. Dykes Jr. Yeah, this is going to be one of the uh, a great way to open up the 100th episode here for West Virginia Championship Wrestling. Happy 100th, by the way. Happy 100th. Did we get cake? <laughs> oh, cake? I know. If, well, I'm sorry. Who did I interview first? Eric St. Clair. There's no more cake. Oh, what a big the suplex there by J.C. Dykes Jr. <laughs> Uh, J.C. reverting back to his old Dyke ways, and it's definitely going to be uh, definitely going to be something else for Heartbreak to overcome. Yeah, definitely. So, Jason, Jason, oh. Jason Saver, you've been able to watch Sean Heartbreak the last couple of weeks. What do you think of this young man? Well, you know, I must be getting old. What's that? The Alzheimer's is setting in. I just don't remember. <laughs> okay, there you go. Hey. One thing you do need to remember and put down on your calendar that our next event is right here at the Prince and Rec Center, December December 8th. the 8th. Yeah, well, you remember that. Absolutely. How could I forget? As we go over the cover, one, two, two, Kather. You only remember because you're going to bring me a birthday present. That's right. I, I'll get you the same thing I got you last year. Maybe I can keep Eric Different St. Clair. Different color, though. Maybe I can keep Eric St. Clair away from the cake. That hey, if you need me to guard, I'll be more than glad to do that for you. But uh, J.C. Dykes now getting heartbreak at the corner. Looking to bring a little color into his chest here. Oh. Ah. Breaking him in with authority with a couple of nice paintbrushes there across the chest as he slams him with authority into that turnbuckle. J.C. Dykes Jr. comes in. Forearm smash. Big forearm smash there by J.C. Dykes Jr. As uh, he hits him with a big back elbow to the back of the head and another one to the back of the head of uh, John Heartbreak. John Heartbreak definitely a little woozy here. Um, oh, you know. delivers a big headbutt. Yeah, Heartbreak's definitely been uh, suffering a bit of a losing streak over the past few weeks ever since they lost the uh, Junior Heavyweight Championship to Steve Michaels. Uh, but looks like he's going to try to uh, reverse that. Oh, look at oh, that. Oh. Big monkey. The youngster foot. lands on his feet. He sure does. Jason Shaver as, as Heartbreak lands on his feet, but I think it kind of – he hit that turnbuckle a little bit and hit J.C. Dykes Jr. with a back elbow. Kind of a back kick right there. What's going to happen next is, as John Heartbreak grabs his side headlock, what's he going to do now? Pushes off, flies over uh, J.C. Dykes Jr., pushes the man off. Kind of knocks John Heartbreak a little, little loopy here, a little crazy. J.C. Dykes, oh, goes for the big super kick again. Turn around. What's J.C. Dykes Jr. going to do? Big T-Bow suplex right there. Yeah, there's the suplex status as best right there. The man can get you from anywhere at any time with those suplexes. That's something else, I'm telling you. Yeah. JC picking them up. Look yeah. at that. I think J I think Johnny Heartbreak, guys, was a little confused. He missed a couple big moves there, and I think it kind of threw him off balance. Well, you know, a lot of times youth and exuberance can get the best of these youngsters, and, and that's really, really um, not good when you're in the ring with a KG veteran like JC Dykes Jr. Yeah, but right now, Heartbreak is in a world of hurt here. Trying to get back to his feet. 
Oh! And hits the super oh, kick on J.C. Dykes. Kick. Wow. What a super kick that was by John Heartbreak onto J.C. Dykes Jr. I haven't seen anybody hit a super kick like that in a long time. Yeah, Heartbreak, that was actually from a way down deep, desperate maneuver right there to try and get back into this one and finally get a win on the win column. Uh, after everything that's been going on the past few weeks, and he's going up to the uh, high rent district on the top rope. He sure is, John Heartbreak going up Look top. Look at this. What's gonna happen? Big moonsault, oh. and he misses. He misses the moonsault after the big super kick. And that's the reason why they call it high risk right there. High risk, high reward, but when you miss, it's a crash and burn. That's right. Both men a little worse for the wear. We'll see who can regain themselves get back to the vertical base and take the offensive. And who could take the uh, uh, offensive here as we see the uh, kind of a deuce stalemate right here. If you watch tennis, uh, to see who's going to get the advantage here as John Heartbreak is, is up, shoots J.C. Dykes into the other turnbuckle. Here comes John Heartbreak, misses the splash, feeds right into to J.C. Dykes Jr. Could this be it? And here he goes. Oh. And a Dykes spike. And cover one, two, and three. And that's all she wrote. Your winner, J.C. Dykes Jr. Fans, I'm going to go up and get an interview with J.C. Dykes Jr. right now. Ladies and gentlemen, joining me now, J.C. Dykes Jr. J.C. Dykes, what a win right over John Heartbreak. Eric Foster, I know you was listening. Everybody else listening to the Nerdy 30s broadcast a few weeks ago. I was trying to tell him about our Hall of Fame. Hell, I was trying to tell him about our 100th episode. And then some punk kid called in. John Heartbreak, boy, I know you. I've taken you down the road with me to North Carolina. I've helped you win championships. I've helped you and your girl and your baby. I've helped groom you. And what'd you say in that interview? Old man. You know what? One old man beat you a few weeks ago and busted your nose. I hope I broke some ribs and knocked some sense into you. Old school elite, that's gonna be you. My business is better kept behind closed doors. Tell us about pig farming, Dave House. Yeah, you pig, pig farmer. Farm. What do you mean pig farming? You know. You look like a pig farmer. Like you've been now, playing around in slop. Hey, you better watch us. I'm going to ring your bell by the time I, it's all said and done. Never mind. That was Roger saying all that, not me. Mind your manners, boy. He's a guest over here. Treat him as such. So anyway, I guess since I'm over here, I better call the action since Foster's now officially out of the way. Yeah, call him a lockup. Well, Foster's about as useful as windshield wipers on a goat tied in anyway. All right, I'll agree with you on that. Fan of making it to the ropes. Boy, once they get started hot and heavy in this match, it's going to be something to see. Yeah, but I guarantee. This may be the first time in my life I've ever cheered for old Owen Benson Connolly. Uh, Connolly is nothing. He is I, absolutely I don't, nothing. And I don't for care a lot tonight. for him either. But, but I hate the bandit even worse. He's the lesser of two morons. Hey, excuse me. Roger, Roger told to one me to say the bunkhouse that. boys here. Big time close close up, on. bandit, up. Bandit get up on count two. There you go, bandit. See, that move always works. Yep, the Greco-Roman eye rake. That's a good one, too. The ancient Egyptians invented that. I can't take credit for it. I'd like to, but I can't. If and I'm being a, honest with myself. And that was a good old-fashioned Texas forearm to the back there. Is that from Texas? 
Is that where that Texas. came from? All the best moves come from Texas. I, I wouldn't go that far. Some of my best moves came from right here in good old West Virginia. How about it, Roger? I don't want to hear about your good moves. The best. Oh, that's a clothesline right there. And Kylie somehow was able to kick out. Well, two only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. Hand grenades. As hand my grenades? Gr Shut up. Hand grenades? The smell of you is making me gag. I smell hey, pig. Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you keep it up, and I swear this bell is going to be you'll be wearing it by the time this is over with. Boom. That so Benny's in the ropes. Boom. So you keep ba -ba it up, ba -ba Fruit Loop. Ba -ba boom. Band of taking care of business on Conley. How did you get in that part in that movie, old Stand By Me? Anybody out there, if you've ever wanted to see Dave House on the big screen, the only screen that would fit him, look him up. He's in Stand By Me. Were those real eggs? Excuse me? Real eggs, castor oil, This has come from two technical pie. disasters. Hey, 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 you watch your mouth, man. I'll turn anyway, my boy loose on you. Anyway, back in the ring, Bandit's taking care of this on Conley. Oh, he's going to go for it. No. Oh. oh. No, up at it. All right, if you boys excuse me, I got a phone call on the tape. Oh, well, we'll see uh, you later. Do they have phones at the farm? Yeah. Those dial-up, you know, rotary phones maybe. There he goes, wobbling away, old Dave House. What's the name of that pig on Green Acres? Arnold. Arnold. Arnold think, House. You think he has an Arnold? I Arnold? bet he eat him. Yeah, they, he ate it. I bet he, he had some sausages and some bacon and some – some chitlins. Oh, big time diamond cutter. That's his finishing move. He oh, hit he, the bandit with it. He could have counted 10 by now. This pig farmer's distracting the referee. Which ain't hard to do. Yeah, that most Cody Green has the attention span of a squirrel. Yeah, most uh, shiny things get his attention. David has left, but what's going on now? I've, hey, I've, I've made my way back Eric to my Foster's seat. Back. How you been, buddy? Well, I've seen David House go up there and get referee Cody Green. <laughs> but what's Bandit got? Bandit's got something, I believe. Benny, well, that Cody Benny Green. wanted to know where referee Cody Green. No, he doesn't have anything. He's got that bell. Oh! oh. Hits him right in the head with that bell. Throws the bell outside the ring. David House finally leaving both men down here. Maybe if we could get Cody Green to speed his little uh, legs up, maybe we'd get him back in the ring and actually, you know. Referee see what's Cody going Green on. making his way back to the ring. Here's the cover. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new television champion in the bandit. Boogie boys.